Hi, I'm Nick. Today I'm going to be showing you how to check your campfire bearings on your sawmill. Now if it's the cantilever head with the dual rail design here, it's, they're going to be basically the same. It may look a little different here, but it's going to be basically the same. What we want to do is remove the covers on top here that's covering your cam followers. We have one, on this side we have one roller on the top up here. Now on the back side by the operator on the operator station there, we have two rollers that are sticking out here. You want to take a pry bar, stick it underneath the housing here, pry up and take the pressure off of it and make sure that roller spins. And you want to inspect it and make sure it doesn't have a groove in it here because that groove is just telling you that your, that your roller is getting smashed down there, getting quite a few hours on it. You probably should replace it. But what we're basically looking for that this thing spins here. And you're going to repeat that step on the back side back here. Now if you find one that does not spin, it's going to take a 15 16 wrench and a uh, 3 8 Allen wrench to take that out of there. And it's just as simple as taking the nut off the back side, pulling that cam follower out of there, pushing the new one in there, and tightening the nut back on the back side. Now on the bottom side, it's a little, little different. We have to let the outside of the head down on something. Normally we use the rest pin out there. We let the head down on it, which is going to take all the pressure off of these bottom rollers down here. And then we're going to lay down underneath there and make sure both of the rollers spin you have, you have two holders underneath of there on a 40s. On the 70, you actually have three roller holders that are holding the rollers against the inside of the rail there. And you're just going to want, again, make sure they spin, that they don't have a groove war in them. And it's going to be the same process underneath as changing them. It's taking a 15 16 wrench, loosening up the nut on the back side, 3 8 Allen wrench on the front side, removing those, putting the new one in, tightening it back down. Now, after you do that, you're, all, you're going to want to go into your alignment procedure and kind of check your saw head tilt and things, because that will, if they have a big groove in them, that will cause your head to be off a little. So that's basically it. It's, it's not real hard. You're just going to check the rollers, let the, let the pressure back down on them, put your covers back on after you're done so you don't get sawdust inside of here, pack it up. So if you have any questions on that, give us a call. Thanks.